So we're just stood on the uh, good sized covered terrace of Villa Panoram Panoramica and uh, well it's, um, well the view speaks for itself basically. Okay, we're on an uh, urbanisation on a front uh, front line plot um, whereby we've got a big uh, internal 8x4 uh, pool, nicely shaped. Uh, lots of terracing around the whole house actually. Um, but we've got uh, fantastic views. You've got uh, Lake Maroma, uh, Lake, sorry, Lake Vimwella and uh, Mount Maroma uh, in the background there. Okay, you're going to get plenty of sunshine. We're just going to take a, a quick look from the pool terrace itself. Uh, along here, along the side, there's plenty of parking, plus a carport, which I'll show you at the uh, front of the property. Uh, we're on uh, mains gas here, so it's all metered. And you can see there's quite a nice opportunity here, perhaps to put an outdoor kitchen area. I'd say in this area, coming off that uh, retaining wall there. Uh, and then this is the view from your pool terrace, which is not bad, eh? Uh, okay, so you've got the balustrade in. Uh, it's a uh, shaped pool with the steps just on the side there. There's drainage in as well. There's a road down below, but it's one of four roads that lead up to the village of Los Romanes. And again, very, very quiet. But here you get kind of the full uh, view of the property itself. So uh, you've got that nice big covered terrace there, which is an L shape. There's uh, steps either side. I say good amount of terrace. Privacy is good as well. Although you are, do have neighbors because you're on a development. Um, gardens are low maintenance at the moment. But uh, you can put gates in as well, make it nice and secure for children. Uh, there's storage underneath the actual build itself in there, which is uh, good for kind of outdoor furniture, barbecues, that sort of stuff. Okay, so let's take a look inside. So you've got a nice big tight kind of dining area, I guess, um, which has got this beautiful framed view. Okay, and then from these windows, that's the new kitchen been put in there. You can imagine it's the same sort of view from the kitchen itself. Okay, so into a good size living room. So you've got uh, new PVC windows and doors, all double glazed. Okay, throughout the whole property. There's central heating as well in every room. And then you've got this nice kind of feature uh, sort of vaulted ceiling with uh, there's a gas that's a gas burner there in the corner and obviously they've put in these new windows as well just to take in that view from inside which is pretty breathtaking to be fair um, so here you've got a split level just one one step internal dining area uh, aesthetic beams in there as well okay Lots of arches, you know, a lot of it has been modernized. There's a few things that uh, perhaps you could obviously do, flooring and bathrooms perhaps. But this is like your dream kitchen, I would say. Uh, you know, that's again, new windows been put in. Uh, maximum light coming in. That's the that's a new uh, Valiant boiler there for the hot water and the, the uh, central heating. That's uh, the dining area we just saw. And then you've got granite tops and uh, good quality uh, kitchen with um, yeah, granite tops, new appliances, hardly been used. Little utility area there as well uh, where those appliances are actually negotiable, not included, the melee. Um, but yeah, it uh, gives you a great, great view, loads of light, quite modern, Nice and uh, kind of white and bright and uh, neutral. Uh, so there you get kind of the idea of the living area. Okay, so we're gonna take a look into the, this is the smallest bedroom, which is they've used as an office at the moment. But uh, again, there's central heating, there's air conditioning, there's fitted wardrobes in all three bedrooms. Okay. 
This is the general bathroom. So it's had a slight modernization with the units. Uh, but uh, yeah, essentially bath, you could change that into a nice big walk-in shower. That's a uh, heated tile rail there as well. Bedroom number two. So don't forget your main services, water, electric, waste. You come under Vimwella Town Hall. It's got AC, uh, which are, they're all inverter units, hot and cold as well. Okay, and then this is the master bedroom, the back of the house. So again, all the units are fitted. Big walk-in shower on this one. Okay. Again, vanity unit's been upgraded. And then this has also got a very large walk-in wardrobe, essentially. So again, that's got huge potential, could be kitted out. Uh, another thing I need to mention is that the um, in three of the rooms, the main living, kitchen, and the master, they've put in insulation on the ceiling. So that's gonna retain obviously heat during the winter and keep the uh, heat out during the summer. Um, so again, you know, other extras which just help uh, as the, the property's kind of been lived in uh, six months of the year, shall I say. Um, so there we have it, that's uh, Villa Panoramica. Panoramica. It's uh, new listing price is 329,000 euros. Uh, you can see there's more space around here. Okay, and then plus you've got the carport, which is all gated, and gardens at the front. So it's a nice level plot on this uh, living level. So if you want further de details, contact us directly on 0034-696-522-171, or indeed view the website and the reference Villa Panoramica. That's on villasolutions.net. Thank you.